Hi guys, um, in this video I'm going to be looking at question 1 in the January 2021 paper, right? Um, please guys, if you haven't done so as yet, please hit subscribe and like on my YouTube channel, right? Um, so this is question 1 I'm going to be working on, right? Now, we want to use our calculator, right? Or otherwise, to find the exact value of this here. So we have to add and subtract some fractions. Um, so what we're going to do, right? So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to convert this 1 and 4 seventh into an improper fraction. So that's 1 multiplied by 7 plus 4. That's going to give me 11 over 7. So this here is 11 over 7 plus 2 thirds, right? Minus that 1 and 5 6. I'm going to write that as an improper fraction as well. 1 6 is 6. 6 and 5 is 11. So that is 11 over 6. So this here is 11 over 6, right? Now, we need to find the LCM, right, of um, 7, 3, and 6, right? So the LCM of 7, 3, and 6, right, is actually 42, right? So what we're going to do, we're going to find this here is going to be 42, right? Um, so 7 into 42 is 6. 6 by 11 is going to give me 66, right? plus um, 3 into 42, right? And that's going to give me 14. And I have to take 14 and multiply by 2. That's going to give me 28, right? Minus 6 into 42 is 7. 7 by 11 is 77. So this here now, I'm going to work out the top part, which is 66 plus 28 minus 77. And I'm going to get 17. So what I'm getting here is 17 over 42 as my answer, right? 17 over 42, that's the exact answer here, right? Now the question says that we can do this using a calculator, right? Um, so that's an alternative method. We can use the calculator if we want, right? But that's the answer for A part one. For A part two, we have, they want us to find, so we have the cube root, of 27 divided by 9 squared, right? Now, 27 can be written as 3 cubed. That means that 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 gives me 27. 3 multiplied by 3 is 9. 9 by 3 is 27. So therefore, I can write 27 as um, 3 cubed. So we find in the cube root of this divided by um, 3 squared right can be used to replace 9 so this is 3 squared squared now we're going to use our rules for indices here right on the top part here i can write 3 cube and that can be raised to the power 1 2 right because that's what um, cube root actually means divided by 3 squared squared right now I'm going to apply my indices rule and on the numerator, we're going to get 3 to the power 1 because if I multiply these two numbers here, right, I'm going to get 1. I'm going to have to do the same thing here. 2 by 2, that's going to give me 4. So that is all over 3 to the power 4, right? And I can write this as 1 over 3 cube, right? And what I'm going to get here for my answer is 1 over 27, right? I'm going to get 1 over 27, right? So that's my answer. They said they want the fraction in the lowest two. The next part here now, they said the thickness of one sheet of cardboard is 485 by 10 to the minus 2 millimeter. A construction worker uses 75 sheets of cardboard stacked together to insulate a wall show that the thickness of the insulation, well, you know the thickness of one sheet of cardboard, that's this figure here, right? And you are using 75 sheet. So therefore your thickness 
right, is simply going to be 75 sheets, right, multiplied by 485 by 10 to the minus 2, right? So basically, we just need to work that out, right? Uh, okay, so all we need to do here is to perform this multiplication, right? So on my calculator here, I'm going to work out 75 multiplied by 485 by 10 to the minus 2. 485 EXP 2 minus, right? And that's going to give me 363.75. So this here is 363.75, right? And that's millimeters right which is what they wanted us to um to get or prove to begin with right okay now they want us to write this answer now so this is my answer here and they want me to write this correct to two significant figures right so if i want two significant figures this first number here is the first significant figure this is my second so if I want to write this correct to um, two significant figures, it's going to be 3, 6, 0, right? Right? So it's just going to be 360 millimeters. That's my answer to two significant figures. The second part, part B, they want me to write this to one decimal place. So I have 363.75. This here is my first decimal place. Right? So what I need to do, I need to look at this number here. Now this number is 5. So what that means is that if I want to write my answer to one decimal place, it's going to be 363.8 millimeters. Right? So that's my answer correct to one decimal place. And the last part here, part C, they want us to write our answer in standard form. So that's 363.75. And I want to write this in standard form. To do that, all I need to do is to move my decimal point one, two places to the left. So therefore, this is going to be 3.6375 multiplied by 10 to the power in this case here, it's going to be, um, one second, I realize you won't see this. Right. So I've moved my decimal point to the left, right? I've moved it two places to the left. So this is going to be by 10 to the power 2 millimeters, right? So that's my answer for part C. And the last part of the question here, Marco is on vacation in the Caribbean. He changes 4,500 Mexican pesos to Eastern Caribbean dollars and he receives 630. So what's happening here is we have 4500 MXN as Mexican pesos, right? And that is equivalent to 630 ECD, right? Now we want to figure out, we want to complete the statement, one ECD is equal to so what we will do, we will write over this first of all. We will say that 60, 630 ECD sorry, is equivalent to 4500 MXN, right? So you want to figure out how much is 1 ECD. So 1 ECD, all we need to do is to take 4500 and divide it by 630. And that's going to give me how many Mexican dollars. So that's 4500 divided by 630. And I'm going to get 7.14 ECD, right? So that's my answer for the last part there, okay?